Construction began in 1911 and was completed in 1913. It was named after Nathaniel Burwash, President of Victoria from 1887 to 1912. The building is an extravagant neo-Gothic work with turrets, gargoyles, and battlements. The architects were Messrs. Sprode and Rolf. In 1910, seven years after the opening of the women's residence, Ansley Hall, the administrators of Victoria University began plans for an elaborate men's residence building on the campus. The project was funded by the estate of Mr. Hart A. Massey, an alumnus from Victoria's early days in Coburg. The full cost of the project is unknown to the public, but the asset was valued at $450,000 in 1913. Burwash Dining Hall in 1926. Famous residents of Burwash include Vincent Massey, Lester B. Pearson, Don Heron, and Donald Sutherland. The building is described as collegiate Gothic, intended to include all the developments of the Tudor style. Burwash Hall was designed to resemble the residences in Oxford and Cambridge, with modifications to the staircase system and the division of houses. Sprode and Rolf avoided architecture of commercial appearance, envisioning a structure that was academic in feeling. Burwash Hall was not intended to replicate Oxford buildings, but to prove that academic Gothic can be indigenous in Canada as well as in England, and that it can be perfectly adapted to the exigencies of Canada's climate and life. Constructed of Bedford, Indiana cut stone and Georgetown rubble masonry, the residence houses and adjoined dining hall intended to prove that beauty and efficiency were not antithetical. Burwash Dining Hall in 1926. The building is divided between the large dining hall in the northwest and the student residence proper. The residence area is divided into two sections. The upper houses, built in 1913, consist of four houses, North House, Middle House, Date House, and South House. The lower houses, built in 1931, were originally intended to house theology students at Emmanuel College, whose current building was opened the same year. Ryerson House, Nell's House, Caven House, Bowles Gandier House are now mostly home to undergraduate arts and science students. The latter two are mostly reserved for students in the Vic 1 program. The upper houses were gutted and renovated in 1995. The lower houses have only been partially upgraded. Before the renovations the entire building was exclusively male, but now every house is co-ed. Each upper house consists of three floors. The lower floor contains a common room equipped with kitchen facilities, couches and a television. The upper floors each have their own kitchen and dining area. All except North House have a very high bathroom ratio, with Gate House being the best with nine washrooms for its 28 residents. Upper houses are divided between double rooms and singles, with about 60% of the population being in doubles. The lower houses each have four floors, but are much narrower with each level having only four rooms. Each level also has its own kitchen, but these are much smaller than in the upper houses. The lower houses do have far larger and better fitted common rooms that are similar to the ones the upper houses had before the renovations. The rooms in the lower houses are also considered more luxurious with hardwood floors and large sizes. Rooms in the lower houses are more expensive, however. Until 2003 the lower houses were restricted to upper year students but with the double cohort of graduates from Ontario schools many of the rooms were transformed into doubles and now hold first years. To the west the upper houses look out on the Vic Quad and the main Victoria College building across it. West of the lower houses is the new Lester B. Pearson Garden of Peace and International Understanding and the E.J. Pratt Library beyond it. From the eastern side of the building, the upper houses look out at Raoul Jackman Hall and the lower houses see the street. Michaels College residents of Elmsley. The only exception is the view from Gatehouse's tower that looks down street. Mary Street. The dining hall is perhaps the best-known part of the building to outsiders. It is the University of Toronto's largest, holding some 250 students and 16 large tables. Hanging on the western wall is Queen Victoria's burial flag, given to the college soon after her death. Under the flag is the high table where the professors and college administration lunch. Historically, the upper houses each had their own table. Gate sat in the southwest corner, middle sat in the far northeast 
south sat in the table to the west of middle, while north sat to the west of the southeast corner. The only lower house to have had a designated table was Caven, in the northwest corner beside the alumni table. Dut. Gatehouse viewed from the Vic Quad. Gatehouse is one of the four upper houses of the Burwash Hall residence. Until 2007, when Victoria administration made it co-ed, Gatehouse was one of the last remaining all-male residence building in the University of Toronto. The Gatehouse emblem is the Phoenix, visible in the bottom right corner of the Victoria College insignia. Gatehouse, with the rest of Upper Burwash, opened in 1913 and has held students every year since then except 1995, when it was renovated. As an all-male residence from 1913 to 2007 it held a number of unique traditions. For 20 years Gatehouse hosted an annual party called Novemberfest in the Burwash Dining Hall. The Victoria Dean of Students cancelled Novemberfest in 2003, when police discovered widespread underage drinking and over 800 people in the dining hall, in violation of the fire code. Another gate house tradition that no longer occurs is the stirring the chicken, a dinner and keg party where house members cook chicken fajitas for hundreds of guests. Until 2007, gate house held secretive first-year initiation ceremonies called traditionals, which involved writing slogans on campus buildings in chalk. Singing songs to the all-women's residents, and leading first years around the house blindfolded. Since Novemberfest, gate house continued to have conflict with the administration. In 2004 the dean evicted three gatehouse residents for allegedly hog-tying a first-year student. In 2007 President Paul W. Gooch wrote that gatehouse undertook an escalating series of actions that were defiant and disparaging of women, in response to gate members constructing a 2.5-meter snow penis and placing a cooked pig's head in an Ansley bathroom. As punishment, during the fall exam period Gooch evicted two residents and relocated the remainder of Gatehouse to other places in the residence system, banned all current Gatehouse students from entering the building in 2008. Since this decision Gatehouse has become a co-ed residence identical to the other upper Burwash houses. Notable residents of Gatehouse include Lester B. Pearson, former Prime Minister of Canada, and Simon Pulsifer, who Time magazine nicknamed the Duke of Data for his contributions to Wikipedia. During its 93 years as a men's residence, Gatehouse developed a distinct character and reputation. These antics included pranks, toga parties, streaking, caroling to other residences, hazing rituals, beer bashes and incessant pounding on the Gatehouse table in the dining hall. Paul Booch wrote that these traditions gave Gatehouse an ethos that contradicted his vision of residence life. The all-male Gatehouse was known as a social center and spirited, tight-knit community. According to Grayson Lee, who created the Snow Penis Sculpture in 2007, most of its residents were heartbroken to leave. Former Gatehouse President Dave Roll commented that the Gatehouse camaraderie is unique and that living there was one of the most important parts of the university experience for many. The Reuters news agency nicknamed Gatehouse U of T's Animal House because Donald Sutherland's memories of its parties are said to have influenced the script of the 1978 movie. The Toronto Star described Gooch's decision to put an end to its traditions, activities and distinguishing characteristics as neutering animal. House. Gatehouse has three floors which house 28 students, as well as a Don and the Victoria College Residence Life Coordinator. Above the gate there is a tower that rises three stories higher and has a turret-style roof. The first floor has one double room and one bathroom available to students. About half of the floor is taken up by the apartment of the residence life coordinator. Lastly, on the first floor there is a house common room with a kitchen and two couches. The second floor has three double rooms and seven single rooms. It has three single washrooms and one larger communal one, as well as its own kitchen. This floor is home to the residence Don, who has a larger room with a private washroom. The third floor is identical to the second except that in place of the Don's room there are two single rooms. Thanks for watching.